know this, but just to reiterate on If you've ever got this grip controlled, either normally pull guard or got the takedown over this. Because once I get this grip and control his hand down and he can't re-grip that easy, I'm at such an advantage. Okay? What I also seen was people had a hard time getting that grip because he knows as well as I do that that's the dominant grip. Okay? So just reaching out and grabbing that wasn't happening. Okay? Eventually they get in a dog fight and someone to get a hold of it and then there they go. Okay? So I want us to be able to get to there without having to, you know, scramble too much and give too much up. Okay? So this is a grip I've showed you all time and time again. But after seeing that this weekend and stuff, I just feel like this is such a, a dominant thing to do. A Hadolfo is really good at doing this. So that he's great at taking that. Okay? So, of course, I don't want to reach out to him with my lead hand. Okay? That's going to allow him to take that shot. All right? So I'm going to use my back hand coming in to the collar. Okay? Now, I have to decide. If I go really high up here in the collar, then this hand can only go low. All right? But if I go low and open this, like right under the collarbone, now I can feed this one to the top. And I've got two hands on this. All right. Now this, there's not a whole lot I'm going to do from here other than just pull and sling him around, get him off balance, get his kazushi off. But he's going to have to do something. Because if he tries to attack me with me having these grips, I've got my elbow right here to defend, and I use my elbows. So anytime he tries to get low or come around, I can really hard and difficult for him to deal with this. He knows eventually I'm going to have to let go. <laughs> but, so he's going to have to break these grips to really be active. Okay? So what's he do? He reaches up to break the grip. When he does this, boom, I can grab a sleep. Or I can release, I can pull, pull and just release and grab it because he's bringing his hands to it. Instead of reaching out like this, trying to grab, okay? So I open up, grab the top, as he's reaching up here, I can just roll my wrist over, watch this. this wrist here, I can just roll it over and get my grip, okay? That's if I want to attack, say, the single leg this one, which we're gonna do, okay? Also, I can go here, I've opened this up, I've got this grip, I can also come from here when he's reaching up and drop to this arm. I'm just coming straight from the top, boom, down to this arm here. This sets me up for my baseball slides and back takes, okay? So I've got a, a good dominant safe grip and I can transition both ways to two really good setups, okay? So that's what we're gonna work on, setting both those up, all right? We also have throws we can do from here. A lot comes from here, okay? So we're here, open, grab. I gotta make my choice, I'm gonna rotate out here. Now, see where his stance is, I'm gonna have to manipulate his footwork, so I'm gonna step, Pull. This is when I pull down, lift up. I don't just lift this up, I throw it up over his head like this. Here. Ooh. Heads in, feet together. Okay, I pinch here, heads in his ribs. Here. Both elbows, I'm going to run the pot with this hand down to his ankle. Now I decide if I want to do a treetop or if I want to do the dunk. I like the dunk because I can shoot the leg come right in the leg. One more time on it. Open, grab here. He goes to try to break my grip. I rotate my wrist over, get his sleeve. Okay, before he can start getting better grips on me, step, pull. As I go again, I'm pulling this here. Okay? I'm gonna go ahead and show you both options and what's working on again. Okay? Next time we come in here, open, grab, I'm gonna come down to this wrist here. Okay? If he holds on to this sleeve, that's fine. If he breaks this loose, over here. When someone does something and stops, that's the best time to attack, okay? Especially when they think that they're gaining ground, okay? But let's say I'm going to dictate this. So I'm here, like this. I'm going to come down and get this grip here. I'm going to pull. My back leg comes in. I pull this bottom here. Put the leg. 
Okay? If you don't like the baseball slide, if you don't like getting low, prefer to use more upper body, I can come here and here, get my grip, and as I come in here, like for an arm drag, I want to step in with the back foot and hook here and drop that. Okay? But if you do that, you've got to get a strong shoulder bumper, okay? i got to come in here with the shoulder and drop, okay? When we go to the mat, we put our landing gear out. We get good grip. We control. We don't just go and start over, okay? You do that over and over and over, you're going to go to competition. You're not going to control when you hit the mat, okay? Well, control when you hit the mat, three seconds, and back up, okay? So we need to see any of that again. Let's work it, guys. One, two, three.